Hello, my name is Daniel, and I'm going to be talking about the SOG Survival Hawk. So this is a smaller size tomahawk, and when I got it, I was kind of surprised about the size, because I had gotten the Voodoo tomahawk, and that one was a pretty nice size tomahawk. I returned it because it was loosening and everything, but this one is a little smaller. The case is really durable on this tomahawk. It has um, a nice thick fabric, and on the inside it has plastic coating that... Um, when you put the tomahawk into the case, it will not scratch the inside. The Voodoo didn't have that, and it was scratching the case and everything, and I was really not happy about that. This tomahawk is full tang, and um, I really like that feature because if you're using it, it's going to last a lot longer. Also, when I was using it and chopping with it, the paracord does move a bit down on the handle. People have said that the paracord is unraveled on them in the reviews and stuff. But it hasn't done that on me yet, which is good. The ferrous seam rod in the butt of the handle has broken on some people. I watched a review where it actually did break on a guy. But it was still he was still able to put the ferrous seam rod back in and just screw the little cap on, and it worked fine. The packing is a blister pack, so the tomahawk fits right here. The ferrous seam rod will fit right here, and the case right here. So the specifications are a 3.0 inch blade. The weight is 19.5 ounces. The overall length is 12.1 inch. Um, the finish is hard cased black. The steel is 2CR cast. The sheath is included and the handle is glass reinforced nylon slabs with paracord. Another important thing about a tomahawk is the way it's mounted. This, there's a belt loop at the back of this tomahawk that is at an angle so that when you're carrying it, it won't be right on the side of your belt, um, of your leg. It'll be off to a little bit. So that's nice when you're carrying it um, on your belt. Another thing, another way that you can carry it is on your pack. If you have these little compression straps on the side of your pack, you can slip the tomahawk through these compression packs, and it'll be pretty um, secure in there. You just tighten these compression straps up, and your tomahawk will stay there pretty well. Another thing is that if you have loop, a loop on your waist belt, you can stick the tomahawk through, and um, it won't be on the inside of your waist belt being compressed against your leg or your hip. If you have these little ski pole or hiking pole little loops that you can um, tighten up, you can put the tomahawk through this and tighten it up and put the cover of the pack over, and you've got your tomahawk pretty secure. You can also put the tomahawk inside the pack. It is pretty nice and light and um, compact, so it won't take up a bunch of space. You can also put it through one of these little loops on the bottom of your pack if you have one. Alright. We are going to go test this tomahawk out. Alright, here's the tomahawk out of the case. It's a pretty nice looking tomahawk. So I'm going to show you how it works chopping. So I've got a board of pretty hard wood and we're just going to see how it works. So it dug pretty deep and nicely. It It's not the sharpest tomahawk that I've um, ever encountered. The Voodoo did come sharper than this one, but it does well for its lightweight and things like that. Okay, with this little checkered area right here, I'm going to be able to pound a nail. This checkered area works great for pounding tent stakes and things like that. Okay, I've got my little nail. We're going to see how it works. Nail doesn't want to go in anymore, it's just bending. Okay, now this little part right here on the tomahawk can be used to, this little indent right here can be used to pull nails. So I'm going to show you how that works. Let me grab a piece of wood. Okay, so you're going to take a little piece of wood for leverage, put the tomahawk in like this, and put your weight like this on the blade. Let me get a different piece of wood. doesn't want to come out. So if you're using this um, tomahawk to pound nails, just keep in mind that some wood that is harder will not, um, will not, the nail won't come out as easy. So I'm going to see if I can use my hammer. Works great. So just keep that in mind. If you're pounding nails, maybe it was just I was using harder wood 
but it does work for pounding nails, for getting out nails. This thing works okay. It can be used for piercing applications, um, breaking wire, and things like that. So I'm going to go grab a piece of wood, and we're going to see how it works break, spiking wood. All right. All right, we're going to try using the spike to break this wood. That works really nicely. Now I'm going to use a blade to break out this little piece. Oh, that spike really works nice. Now we're going to be using the spike to break some wire. Let's go get started. All right, let's see how this spike does breaking wire. Uh-oh. There you go. If you need your tomahawk to break wire, it can do that. I'm going to be talking about the paracord wrapped handle. People have said that it's um, unraveled on them when they're using it and stuff, and I'm sure that's true. But if you need to take the handle off, you've got seven feet of paracord, and under the handle, it's got this plastic handle slab, these plastic handle slabs, the handle slabs, the glass reinforced nylon handle slabs, run all the way down through here. So if you take it off, you'll still have a handle. It won't be as nice, but it'll work. So you've got paracord. The last thing is the ferro seam rod in the butt of the tomahawk. You just pull out this little ring that's secured in here, like this, and then you'll unscrew it. Now you've got a nice little ferrocium rod, and it's got these little rubber rings that will keep water out of the ferrocium rod. So let's see how this thing works. So if you're in the woods and you need to, you can take out your ferrocium rod and start this grass. We're going to be seeing how this tomahawk does against a computer. Right. There you go. Right here on the H key, I think. Yep. Got the tomahawk right there in the H key. So if you ever need to, your tomahawk can defend you against a computer. Alrighty, there you go. Today, our SOG Survival Hawk has had quite a day of chopping, breaking wire, smashing computers, and has had a great time. I have too. So, this tomahawk I think is a great tomahawk for somebody that's in a, in a tactical situation or a survival situation and things like that. So it's an all over great tomahawk.